look, it's coming back on. Uh -oh. All right. This is all right here. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Music stop. Hey there, West Monroe. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mountain Man Show. I'm going to be here with you for a little while. <laughs> Here's a guy who gets paid to talk slow. His name is Mountain Man. This is an outdoor show. It's more like a stand-up comedy routine. Hey, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Mountain Man has got a great show. I think some rain's coming in my knees swelling. He's forecasting and he weather by no his knee. Wonder. Hey, your knee hurts? Okay, it's fixing the rain. Turn blue? Hey, it means cold outside. Get back inside, Jack. Oh, here you go. We're Listen. gonna have a real expert, Willie Robertson from Duck Command. <laughs> give us some real good advice. Uh, on when did he Willie be become an expert? Willie ain't an expert at nothing except being a party pooper. He's pooped more parties than any man I know. They got Willie the expert. Why not let me tag along too? Sir, there's no way Willie's gonna let you go on there with him. Hey, I'm just gonna get in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. You can't spell radio without S I. Can I buy an S? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, Y'all got the... Excuse me. <laughs> if it comes up again, we'll vote on it. You got those burn hedges? Grant said he gave the order. I am in the process. Of making the bird hedges. <laughs> 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 Chase, I ain't got time for this crap. Mr. Robertson, being an expert in the outdoors, what do you think's the most dangerous game on the planet? Oh, I get it. Anything? <laughs> anything? Anything? I'm doing a radio show, so what? Willie thinks this is some kind of spotlight, so he can show off his vast knowledge of the outdoors. People listen to that to laugh. Nobody's listening to it to hear some talk on the outdoors. Well, now they will. This is not an outdoor show. It's a comedy. Hey, I'm gonna go with you. Good idea, right there. Hey, Tonto, I don't need a sidekick. Hey, I used to be a radio man and none. What station were you on? Hey, I was on WNAM. WNAM? It seems that his size has gotten older. His whole war experience has grown right along with him. By the time he dies, he's going to have fought the whole thing single-handedly. You just made that up. I didn't make that up. That was the radio station. What the W stand Hey, we for? had a war going on in Nam. So, hey, we named it WNAM. <laughs> I got to draw you boys a picture on everything. Do you remember the movie? Uh, Good morning, Vietnam. Hey, I was a good afternoon, Vietnam. It was probably my deal that made him famous, OK? He's right on my back. Fine, you can go with me. All right. Mm, this is going to be good. Don't touch anything. Don't say anything. You're not going on the radio. You'll never know I'm there. I think it's a good idea. That's a terrible idea. This would be the most anticipated radio show ever. All right, get the calls made, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody's fired up about the Olympics. They need to have a redneck Olympics. Look at there. See, Godwin could enter the contest for wheelbarrowing. Yeah. That's good. I'm not too excited about doing yard work, but my wife is putting the pressure on me to spruce up her yard. You gonna put this in bag? The leaves are not supposed to go in bags. God gave us the greatest instrument in the world for leaves. Fire. If I'm going to work that hard getting leaves out of my yard, oh, I'm going to see a show. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. One of the most exciting sounds to a redneck is <laughs> Godwin, I think it's gonna burn the whole neighborhood down. 
He put a lot of gas on it. This is really not a good idea. Chase. Hey, babe. What are you doing? I'm burning the leaves. Why, when I ask you to fix up the yard, does it always entail something burning or you destroying something? Babe, there's a pipe. Jason, hey. right now, my main concern is the neighbors. Well, Last time, they complained. Look, they're just driving by. Oh, hey. I know. <laughs> Look, they saw the smoke. We sent out a smoke signal. Get you a couple hot dogs and come on, man. Chap. Hey, Please. they may want to roast a wiener. As soon as the fire starts, it's all the whispering and murmuring. You burn some leaves in the yard, and everybody's like, hey, they're burning leaves, they're burning leaves. And then here, everybody comes by. They're sending out smoke signals. Chase. They're crazy. There's a bearded man starting a fire in his yard. What are we going to do? We're going to get in trouble again with the Homeowners Association if you do not put this fire out. Huh? Remember whenever you skinned the deer? I skinned one little deer off the back of his truck in the front yard. You would have thought the world was coming to an end. Right when the neighbor's school bus was dropping their kids off. Just because I'm skinning a deer in my yard and some kids come by and see it, and now all of a sudden they're having nightmares? Just because they see the carcass of a deer that I'm gonna eat? Guts everywhere. They're now traumatized? They ran screaming towards their house, and yes, I got a phone call just about a half an hour later. Maybe you should skin some of your animals in front of your kids so they're not so traumatized. It's my yard. If I want to skin a deer right here, I can skin a deer okay, right here. Okay, look, I've got to go. So why don't you just go ahead and clean this stuff up before we get in trouble? Hey, by the way, you look smoking hot. A lot hotter than this fire. That helps just a little. Okay. You really look good, babe. Woo, <whistles> you lit a fire under her, Jay. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's nothing like a hot woman that's hot. I wish I had some weenies or marshmallows or something. You can say that again. I wish I had some weenies or marshmallows or something. You can say that again. OK. I wish I had some weenies or marshmallows or something. Keep them coming, guys. I can do it all day long. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, we're here to see Gary with the Mountain Man Show. OK, and what's your name? Willie. Willie Robertson. OK. And his Uncle Si. OK. Me and Bells have always had a thing. Whenever I get around one, hey, something takes over. There's nothing I can do about it. Gary, I have a Willie Robertson and Si here to see you. Some people have feet fetishes, OK? Put it out of my way, I, you know, hey. I got a bell fetish. Live with it. Hey, guys, I'm Gary. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Willie Robertson. Hey, Willie, good to see you. Yeah, I'm here for I'm his Uncle Si. Oh, <laughs> hi, Si. Let me let you in here. I told you to quit. Just hey, I'm trying. Is that a flower bush? I think it's roses, but they not in good shape. Woo! Got your fence supplies and a little surprise for you boys. Come on. <laughs> All right. Where'd you get them chickens? Well, I'm fixing to try to add a little bit of a flavor. Jackpot to Yuppieville. I consider it a very positive improvement. Oh, I'll take them chickens. <laughs> chickens. We'll corral them to the backyard. I'll let them pre-graze. Free-range chicken. Come here. <laughs> well, I tell you what, what, these, do, what are you guys? talking about in good shape? Chickens look slow, and we know they're dumb. But chickens are quite challenging to corral. There you go. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Y'all don't let them outsmart you now. We're herding chickens. Keep that dog on the leash. I mean, you see a bunch of grown men chasing chickens around the subdivision. I would say America is making a comeback. I got to be honest, I'm scared to grab a hold of one. <laughs> All right, Willie, let me get you set up. You just speak right into uh, that. One, 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 one. What are you sounding like that for? I've been looking forward to this for a while. This is Willie Robertson. When I was asked to be on the show, I took it as an honor. All right, Willie. You ready to do this? All right, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. All right, let's let her rip, Tater Chip. Don't say anything. Willie, it's a radio show, and you want me to be quiet? I'd say that. We're on the air. Boring. And we're 
we're back with Willie Robertson and the Duck Commander. How you doing, my man? It's good to be here. Doing great, Willie. It's good to have you on the show today. If anybody wants to call in and talk to Willie or Cy, y'all give us a call. It's just me. He's just here. Hey, Mountain Man, we got a call on line one for you. Z Country, this is the Mountain Man show. Hey, yeah, I've got a question for Willie. What was your best duck hunting season? Probably hands down, like four years hey, ago. Hey, I remember the time me and him went, and hey, we didn't kill any ducks, and he cried. That's not true. <laughs> sure it is. Hey, it's radio. It's like NASCAR or figure skating. They only watch it to see the crash. Well, he was 19 years old. Well, that's a lie. Maybe my eyes are watered. No. You have to give the audience what they want, and look, I'm giving them what they want. We're not here to talk about me crying. I wasn't crying. There was no crying. No, there was no crying. Ah, Gee, well. You think? <laughs> the caller's still on the phone. Now he thinks you're a crybaby, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just get zinged by Mountain Man? Well, it looks like we got another caller on line, too, here. How can I help you today? Well, I have a question for Cy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, do you have any other good Willie stories? Oh, yeah. No. One time he got so mad, he threw a shotgun in the water. I'm going to kill him. Hey. He's telling lies to tons and uh, probably 200 people in West Monroe. You've never met a president? Yeah, I have. He gave me a medal. And he's hijacking my segment. This is my reputation that's on the line. One time, we put blanks in his shotgun. What is the deal with this show? This is a dream. That's the only explanation. Darwin, is that you? Next call. <laughs> There's no way things have gotten this bad this fast in real life. This has nothing to do with the outdoors. Hey, we're going to talk hunting or what? Did you ever get any hunting done? <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal here? It's like we got another caller here. Hey, Willie, I know uh, dust is your main thing. When it's not dust season, like, what, what do you, what's your favorite hunt? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I really like going after uh, feral hogs. Get your bow out. Hey, I've seen you shoot a bow for the last four or five years. You just ain't a bow man. You're crazy, dude. I'm straight up Hunger Games no. with a bow. Oh. Hey, if you go hunting with a bow, you're going to go hungry. Did you steal? Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Y'all be sure to tune in next week for the Mountain Man Show, and see y'all then. Cy Robertson, out. You're a disgrace to radio. Missy wants the yard to look good, but all I care about it is being functional. There you go. Oh, you got shiners in that oh, thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, Look well, here. good night, Jay. Now you're getting somewhere. The surroundings of this house is 100% organic. Well, I love to take a dump in the woods. That's about as organic <laughs> as you can get. <laughs> Wipe your tail with the leaves. I went organic and green way before organic and green became vogue. See them ridges right there? That is toilet paper. You wouldn't want to squat down next to poison ivy or poison oak leaves. Although large enough to get the job done, it could cause the anal region some misery. Okay, well, let's, here we go. Let's give them a new home. Oh, yeah. Jason. Oh, yeah. Hey, how'd the symphony go? Forget the symphony. Guess who I just got off the phone with? Who? The chairman of the HOA. What's the HOA? I never even heard of that. The Homeowners Association. You know, the people that we pay our annual dues to. We pay them? You are trying to tell me that there are associations that exist only to tell me what I can and can't do at my house? And then I pay you for that? Are those chickens? Yeah, Phil gave me them chickens. <laughs> no, you can, we can't do that here. That's part of the reason why they're calling us into a meeting tomorrow night. Well, you tell them I'll be there. I look forward to it. Sometimes in life, you got to make a stand. Do I want to? No. Is it going to be uncomfortable? Yes. Is it the right thing to do for the love of my neighborhood? Absolutely. Babe, I love you, but sometimes I feel like I'm raising four kids instead of three. Hey, John. Hey, Jeff. Mm -hmm. you go. I'll work that out. Rock on. 
Say, country, is, is the mountain man show? Hey, I remember the time me and him went, and hey, we didn't kill any ducks, and he cried. <laughs> That's not true. That's, That's not true. true. That is. Since this show has aired, the station keeps replaying it over and over and over. One time he got so mad, he threw a shotgun in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and we keep listening every time it's on. Cy si Robertson, out. You're a disgrace to radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, you said I couldn't shoot a compound bow. I own, like, four of them. I, I know you own four of them, but that don't mean you can shoot them. How about I shoot you in the butt? Then you'll think I can shoot it. Good luck. <laughs> I ain't got no butt, Jack. I think that's the truth. <laughs> Let's go to the archery range and settle this. Archery range? Great idea. Follow me. Let's settle this like You didn't me. know about that. Hey, they got an archery range. Hey, we got a conflict. Let's solve it. That's what I'm talking about. There's an archery range in the warehouse. That's right. Pretty impressive, huh? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Chase, you can't put an archery range in the back of a warehouse. Forget all that. What if you shoot somebody? There's your equipment. That's my bow. Yeah, yeah we borrowed it. Look, if you hit the target, then Cy, his radio career is finished. Hey, we'll just disagree to uh, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I disagree to disagree with what he just said. Well, wait a minute now. Hey, if Willie misses the target, Hey, I'm gonna get on the show and tell more stories. He can even make some up if That's he wants. Right. Hey, I can't wait to see what the big crybaby's gonna do when he misses this target. He'll be crying for his mama, boys. Willie, take your mark. Boo hoo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> Boo hoo hoo. Big crocodile tears. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer him. Hammer him. Bullseye. Jack. So he can shoot a bow. Hey, it still doesn't change the fact he cried like a big baby. And that is a fact, Jack. You're out of the radio business. Hey, look here. We never shook on it, so it doesn't matter. Huh. <laughs> See? Well, y'all are gonna put up this archer range. This ain't happening in here. Yeah, y'all put up the archer range. I'm going to my own <laughs> deal. Good shooting, Willie. Yeah. Hey, gotta make some duck calls. I'm docking all your pay. Look at all these minivans. It's embarrassing. Babe, these are our neighbors. We want to get along with them. We want to be happy. Yeah, this ought to be exciting. Yuppie we Central. Need to discuss that and see what we want How to do with that. Now? I'm Jace. This is my wife, Missy. Hi. My parents, Phil and Kay. I brought a casserole. That's great. So. Well, Mr. Robinson, uh, I'm glad you're here. I mean, we'll we're talking about life. when you think about it, it's just burning leaves. And we got Mr. three chickens. Yeah, Mr. Robertson, we'll, right. we'll deal with that at the end of the day. Right, Thank fine. you. Thank you. These people look like zombies. It looks like aliens have come down and taken away their soul. Because they're not moving a muscle. They're just stiff. They're just. 10 o'clock, we need to have the lights. Really on. not a good idea to have yard sales in the neighborhood. Just instead of turkey this year, we could get So uh, we have Thanksgiving coming we up. We need to Christmas. get our decorations up. What's wrong with you? Does anyone have anything they'd like to bring up at this point? Mr. Robinson, if you'd like to, ha this is all a good right. time for you to. Uh, actually, you could just make those comments from back there if you'd like. That's all right. We are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights. Amen. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's right. Chickens make me happy. They get insects. They fertilize your yard. And if anything goes wrong, you can put them in a pot. I brought a casserole. If I had to live in a neighborhood where I couldn't have at least the right to be free, I mean, that makes me want to move to Scotland or China. Amen. Flush these rules down the commode, and let's be creative and put the... Uh. So I just... I mean, trying to tear down some walls here. Be as it may, Mr. Robertson, uh, when you bought your house, you signed this document that said you're not allowed to burn in your yard and you cannot have chickens. They got me. 
All right. I signed the contract. I didn't know that was in there. We're out of here. I'm gonna take that casserole with me. Sorry. Sorry. Thank y'all. Here's the moral of the story. Get that casserole and let's get out of here. What is the moral of the story? Father, thank you for this day. I do pray, Father, that uh, we not be bitter about our neighbors. So we'd appreciate you help us in that area. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. And you know who I'm talking about. Hey, let me tell you about the time Willie went down to the river. Hey, 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 uh-uh. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. To the same point, you can't choose your neighbors either. It's all a lesson in tolerance, because you sure ain't gonna win them all. And today was a perfect example of that. Yet even on the worst days, I wouldn't trade my family for any other family in the world. Let me tell y'all about the time Stop. Willie. I'm gonna shoot you in the butt with that bow, son. Hey, anybody can have one lucky shot. <laughs> Washing the old RV, are we? Giving her a little bath. You planning on taking it somewhere? No, I'm just washing it. It's like you. Huh? You take a bath once a week, I wash my RV once a week. OK, we have something in common. It's a showpiece, cheap advertising, man. I got a movable billboard right here. Take it anywhere. When are you going to let me take it? You don't know how to drive this thing. What are you talking about? Jace always wants to play with my stuff. Go buy your own stuff. Jace, I would never let you drive this. What are you talking about? It's got my face on it. That means I get a key. No. Why don't you cool off and go make some duck calls? There you go. Okay. Look, it's raining. All right, I think I will. Go work. You're a terrible brother. You're a terrible employee. Get in there and do some work. Meet the Robertson clan. They turn duck calls <laughs> into a multi-million dollar empire. But running a family business is tough when the family just wants to run wild. <laughs> What was that about? I just bought two sweet Polaris UTVs. Really? They're sweet. I'd like to see them. God dang it, they're so sweet. That looks like a mad spider. Sweet. I can see it now. Mud on my boots, wind in my beard. Me and these ATVs fit together like a hand and glove, like peanut butter and jelly, like Daryl Hall and that other dude with a mustache. The problem is I wanted to go out this weekend and go tear up some mud. I gotta wait two weeks. We can't wait that long to ride them things. What do you mean, we? You're not gonna let me drive one? No. I don't let Jace borrow things. It doesn't work out that good. Last time I let him borrow my dirt bike, I got back more dirt than bike. Then he borrowed my crossbow. I got back a cross. What if I go get them? You go get them. What are brothers for? It's not about getting out of work. It's about having an excuse not to work. All right, if you go get them, I'll let you ride one. But let me take one of your rigs to go get them. Fine. And let me take somebody with me. Take a guy with you. Deal. Cool, thank you. That's what brothers are for. Sweet. I like this chase a lot better. Hey, Linda. Hey, Jace. If my face is on the vehicle, bye, Linda. I should have automatic rights to drive it whenever I want. Martin, what's up in that shirt, man? Do you see the top of my arms? I need it to match yeah, the bottom. Yeah, I see them. Your arms are white as fluffy egg whites. You need to work on the freckles. Well, why are two guys sitting there staring at my arm? As big uh, as you are, we can't look past you. I'm glad you are sitting down. I've been talking to Willie. He bought two ATVs, and I volunteered to go get them. And even better news, he said I could take somebody with me. I mean, I'm I, in. Building duck calls every day is boring. Hey, so if we can leave here for a couple hours, we're ready. 
Yeah. I'll go. You all want to go. You know what we do about it? What do we do about it? You're all going. Mm. All right. We're like the musketeers. One for all and all for one, Jack. Where are we heading? We're headed to Shreveport. Hey, I ain't been to the big city in quite a while. Si, Shreveport's not a big city. Hey, to me it is. Yeah, it is. Anything over 500 in population, that would be a big city. They turn on the night lights. No rules, boys. It's party time. When is this gonna take place? Now! So who's going? Us four. <laughs> Did you take your senile medicine today? <laughs> no, I skipped it today, Jack. Oh, man, this is heavy. Oh, my. What are you doing? Well, I'm getting my sermon ready for Duck Commander Dave. I'm going to say a few words. Duck Commander Sunday is basically a redneck rendition of fearing God, loving your neighbor, and hunting ducks. I say a few words, we'd all sing church songs, you know. Everyone has camo on, and everybody happy, happy, happy. What are you doing? I'm fixing to make that giant jambalaya. Oh, you're cooking? Yeah. I don't know whether more people come to hear Phil speak or to eat my jambalaya. Maybe the jambalaya. I call them in with a duck call, Miss K, and you feed them. It's the one-two punch. It's the one-two punch. I'm ready to hit the road, Jack. <laughs> you sure it's OK if all of us go? No, I'm not sure. Look, we're going to get in trouble with Willie anyway. Our road trip with the Robertsons, it's got fun written all over it. And I don't know of any redneck that ain't into fun. That's their middle name, Red Fun Neck. Do you know how long I've been trying to get my hands on these keys? How long? Ever since he got it and put my face on it. RV to us stands for Redneck Vacation. Yep. I guess I'll do it. Shotgun. Right. <laughs> We're heading toward the big city. Hey, we figure out a party. I'm in, Jack. It's on like Donkey Kong. Si. What? That saying went out of style about no. 40 years ago. No, I just said it. It's back in. All right, it's back in. Oh, here we go. Hold on tight. That's all I got to say, son. Viva la Shreveport. It's on, boys. Jeff Martin. Jeff Martin, need you guys. Hey, Linda, have you seen any of the guys? I seen Jace. He come through here, snatched up the RV keys, and headed out. To the RV? He took my RV. He snatched up the keys and went. Are you kidding me? I don't know what to tell you, mister. Hey, point this big puppy west and put the hammer down. Woo! We, we on the road again. Again. Oh, oh, road, baby. Right. I don't know why Willie don't drive this every day. Oh, yeah. Let everybody know. Yep. Let them know. The only way to achieve freedom is tear down the walls. And right now, I'm the wrecking ball. This is like a mancation. No Willie. Life on the open road. I like it. Next stop, Shreveport. Uh-oh. What's up, Willie? What's up? You said I could take any vehicle I wanted. You think I'd ride in this RV by myself? We got busted. You weren't even supposed to take the RV in the first place. You never told me don't take the RV. Never told you. You've said it before, but you didn't say it today. <laughs> Whatever. How am I supposed to get the floor Loser. You know what's weird about this? The only person not happy is the person who's getting the UTVs. Willie's all fired up. <laughs> You're upset on how I'm doing you a favor? Are you kidding me? Haters gonna hate. That's exactly He's right, hater. Jill. That's exactly right. What are you cooking? I smelled it from halfway up the road. It's jambalaya for Duck Commander Sunday. Mmm. Apparently, Jace took all the bumbling idiots on a road trip. Typical Jace. I let him do one thing, and he shuts down the entire company. There's not a soul left at the warehouse. You're kidding. They gone. Well, the joke's on them, because I'm going to get the first plate of Miss Kay's jambalaya. All right, I need to get the payroll. Where's it at? It's over in that shed somewhere. Y'all need to clean this crap up. I know, I know. 
can find it. Good night. What is wrong? What happened to you? There's an alligator in there. Are you fooling me? Okay, look at this thing. What is it? There's an alligator, There's an alligator right out here. here. Under your payroll. How long is he? He's big enough. I mean, this thing is huge. Let me tell you about alligators. There's a reason it's been around for millions of years. That's the third one this year that's come up in the yard. No, oh, you oh. sucker. He's not eating salads. He's eating meat. He can eat your face off. I'm fixing to kill him. No, don't kill him. It ain't even season. He well, tried I mean, to attack me. What do you me. do? Wait till he bites one oh, of them? Oh, yeah. He's just a little yearling. I've never seen that much hullabaloo over one little five-foot alligator, ever. An alligator is like a frog. I mean, give me a break. We need to just run him on back down out of where he come from. How are we gonna get him out of there? Let me mull on that a little bit. Phil ain't gonna do nothing, and I gotta get out of here. I ain't gonna lose a hand over messing with this gator. You better have him gone while I finish this jambalaya. I don't want my grandkids That's what that hurt. gator's doing up here. He's after Miss Kay's jambalaya. Well, I'm telling you, he ain't getting out of this. We're here, boys. Boom! This is like going Christmas shopping with Willie's money. <laughs> when you take a redneck and you give him something on four wheels that you can drive through the mud, this is almost like sensory overload. Ooh, saddle up, partner. I'm looking for the weight limit to make sure I don't tear nothing up. If you weigh more than the ATV, you've surpassed the weight limit. Yeah, I probably ought to get off this. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing about Martin. He supplies his own airbag. How can I help y'all today? Well, Willie Robertson sent us to pick up a couple of ATVs. That disease right here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at the rims. Right, look here. Chrome rims. Yep, chrome rims. Willie, he ain't really got a clue what an off-road vehicle is. You know, chrome rims, he's got more sparkle to it than most Las Vegas showgirls. Why would he put those on there? That's what the man wanted. It's typical Willie showboat. Tell you what, I didn't ever think about 20 more feet with 10,000 more pounds. Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. Is this turning into maybe a near-death experience? Possibly. Does this add to the adventure? Absolutely. This is a monstrosity now. People will either get out of our way or get run over. What? Right, we're out of here. So you got a big trailer on there now. It's on like Donkey Kong. Phil, what do you think we're gonna do? You want me to call wildlife and fisheries? Come get it? Are oh, you nuts? No. You don't want to call a bunch of game wards come rolling in down here with one little gator. He ain't hurting anything. You call a game warden, you're probably gonna get stuck for something. Reckless looking with intent to kill. Bomb, $250. Okay, I'm taking my boat and I'm getting out of here. No, this is you're your problem. not. He's not gonna do anything. Oh, you sucker. I don't know how I get in these situations. I'm supposed to be at work. I end up down here turning into that crocodile hunter. It's not even my house. I got to sit out here all afternoon, make that jambalaya. He's 40 yards away from me. He ain't going to mess with you. You don't know he won't come over there. He might be hungry. We got to get rid of this. <laughs> Good Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you gonna leave me with that? I mean, I cleaned his diapers. Great protector of your mother. And then he's gonna leave his mom, just leave her helpless? We're Get right out of here. here. <laughs> Good Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody calm down. You calm down. If y'all are leaving along, I'll take care of him in a little bit. Don't. Get out of here. I don't Easy. like to. Easy. Stand right there and divert no, his attention. No, you lost your mind. Go on. Get. Go. <laughs> <No, don't. laughs> <laughs> Willie and the Gator. It's almost like a country and western song, you know. Grab by his tail and drag him backwards back out the other way. It was a comedy. A comedy of errors. No. Oh. Uh oh, he's bitten the P road. Oh no. I'll get over and get him in a little bit. Leave him alone. Duh. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, I'm getting out of here. Local chubby woman eaten by alligator. <laughs> Well, I'm starving. Sir, give me something to eat. I'm hungry. Let me get back here and see if I got anything I can cook with. Hey, I am the MacGyver of cooking, boys. If you bring me a piece of bread, cabbage, coconut, mustard greens, pig's feet, pine cones, hey, it's good for colon. Roughage for the colon. And a woodpecker. I will make you a good chicken pot pie. What you got, sir? 
So far, I've found pork and beans. Pork and beans. Pork and beans. Found. You had me, then you lost me. Hot sauce. Hot sauce, I'm back in. Hey, that's good. My Vietnam special is just like my women. Yeah, it's getting there now, boys. Hot, sweet, and then extra spicy. That's my special nom surprise. That smells hot. It's actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's good, son. It's good. Real good. When you're hungry, I think you lose your sense of caution. Because now I'm actually eating something that Cy si prepared. I knew something was wrong when I felt the heat kind of come over my body. Ugh. What's that smell? Oh, I feel like it's a horror show in my intestines. You know that whatever's fixed to happen Ugh. is not good. It's starting to smell like something died in here. Y'all can't handle your beans. Woo. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I should have knew better than to give these boys my Vietnam special, because, hey, this thing has literally backfired on me. Big time. Ah, goodness, boys. Uh, both hands, man. Martin is turning a shade of green that I know means trouble. I may be about to have to pull over Whoa. and use the facilities. When a man the size of Martin becomes combustible, oh, that's a dangerous situation. I got to go. Oh, I realize I when go. I see Martin making his move to the portable restroom, that whatever idea I had of using that the rest of the trip, it's gone. He's supposed to hurt that bathroom, Jace. Oh, oh you, wow. You know, you can't help but feel sorry for that bathroom. Whoo! You just thought the entrance was hot. Hey, open a window, Jeff. Whoa! Hey, look here, I take most smells. Whatever he ate was dead. But when it starts burning my eyes, everything we eat is dead. Yeah, but hey, that sucker's been dead for a while. <laughs> no, it's time to leave this area. Pull this sucker over somewhere. Why? I think the puke, boys. I'm getting out of this day. Good death. If you've ever run up on like a dead cow that's been dead for like a month, <laughs> that's about what's coming out of the RV. Whoa! Fresh air. Good nip. He better get back in. We gotta go, man. I'm it's checking nuts. on him. That old fart. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, I ain't riding in there no more. You're gonna ride. Hey, I'm it? riding here, baby. I'm good to go. Y'all take off. Hey, I'm not getting back in that RV. I guess I'll go back in there if somebody had a gun on me. Get back in the RV, I'm gonna shoot you. I may go back in there then. Hey, hold on, sir. Good. Is that against the law? Nah. I would say stupid, yes. <laughs> you can't smell stupid without SI. That is an excellent <laughs> point. You've got to get the alligator out of here. There's no way to get him out. He's bitten everything I put in there. Well, maybe that's a sign he's hungry. You get some of them old chicken parts right there. Oh, yeah. I got a plan, Kay. Going in. I've never tried that particular maneuver. You hungry? A little of sausage. Oh, get him out of there, Will. Ah. I always figured a man's not too far from the chicken. You want it? He goes to eating. You might be part of the meal before it's over, so. Come on. Who's hungry? I'm thinking, no. You like? Oh, yeah, he's thinking, oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, wow, here we go. Mission accomplished on part one. He bit the chicken. Oh, I've got it. Part two, I don't know. Now you got something going. <clears throat> he likes chicken. Uh-oh. He ate the chicken. He's making a move. And let's get out of here. Perfect. <laughs> oh, now he's rolling. Doing a death roll on me. Ah! There you go. Keep going. He gone, Kay. Hey, Phil, thanks for the help. Couldn't have done it without you. But I did. That was good work. Thank you. I wish this gator was in season. I could make gator balls. I love gator balls. Yeah. It's delicious. Size ponytail is flapping in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his little rat tail going. 
the smell aside, we've had a much needed getaway. Up to this point, it's been great. You think he's offside back here? I guess we found out the answer to our question earlier, if it was legal or not. What's he doing? He's right up at the trailer, so I guess he's talking to Sal. What in the world are you doing sitting back there? Is it against the law? Mm. Yes, it is. On, hey, believe, believe it or not, I have a real good excuse for being back here. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Oh, no. This ain't gonna end good. Even though I'm the leader of this outfit, I'm not going down on this one. The man you're looking for is Mr. Vietnam Vet right there. Hey, y'all hold up. Stop right there. You step down onto the cement. Don't move. Raise your hands. You're not gonna make me go back in that RV, are you? Hey, he's the one that cooked it. What were you cooking again? I was cooking the Vietnam special. Is that what that smell is? They are responsible for that smell you're going. That's mm. why I was riding back there. I saw this dog headed toward that RV, and I thought, oh, my goodness. This could be the end of this dog's career. Head alert. We're clean. OK. Sir, you're going to have to get back in there with them and go home. Yeah. All right. Si, you like to get your butt thrown in jail. All right, crack the windows, and let's get out of here. I just want to go home, have a good nice rest, and get up for Duck Commander Sunday. Get me away from these guys. I didn't know you witches couldn't handle it. Little jalapeno pepper. Thank you, Father, for being there for us. I pray for everyone in this room and that they would enjoy a loving, peace-filled life while they're on the planet. Amen. 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 The Bible says to be slow to anger and quick to forgive, which is important to remember, especially with my family. We may be a little hesitant at first, but one thing we do well is take care of our own. Whether it's saving Kay from an enormous man-eating gator or letting the guys borrow my RV for a road trip, the Robertsons always come through for one another, even if it is as simple as forgiving. Hey, Willie, sorry about that smell in your RV. I forgive you. Really? No! It's hot as a furnace in here. That's what it feels like. This is unbearable. Hey, I'm like frosty snowman. I'm melting down in my boots. You have shoes on, sir. I don't know. It's hot. Good grief. For the past week, the AC has been off and on. You can hardly breathe. <sighs> when you get heat of this magnitude and you lose your central air, you just have to be creative about how to deal with it. Oh. It's us against the heat. Who's going to drop first? The stench in here is making me nauseous. I'm going to drop like a sack of potatoes. It's too hot to wear pants. Well, trust me, you won't get away with that. And please don't try it in here. Hey, Louisiana, in the summertime, the humidity is just ridiculous. Hey, I wish I could do what I used to do when I was young. What's that? Hey, run through the street butt naked. Oh, wow. Last time it got this hot, I blacked out, and I, I woke up naked, and I was in the middle of a park. We're getting somewhere now, boys. What are you doing, Jeff? Hey, I'm making me some short pants. Things just officially got weird. Oof. The last thing I need right now is for you to turn your perfectly good pair of blue jeans into jorts. You should have cut a little deeper uh, toward the knee. I don't want to see what's in your pockets. This is going from hot to creepy. I got to do something about this. Frosty the snowman. First sign of heat stroke. It's 140 in the duck call shop. We can't work in these conditions. It's a little warm. Warm? I feel like I'm in a convenience store and I'm on one of those little things that go around and we're like weenies just staying hot all day. Just stale. A weenie roller? 
No, it's it's a weenie roast back there. You definitely got some wieners back there, that's for sure. Jace is a weenie. He's talking about this heat like it's his first summer in Louisiana. I'm down there with these beasts, and they are stinking. Ugh. If I had a nickel for every problem Jace brought to my office, I could buy a really good lock to keep Jace out of my office. We're not working in that environment. Deal with it, son. No, ain't no dealing with it. See, you got up here with a fan. I'm back here with a bunch of swamp butts that stink. It's a fine mist and a fan combination. Delightful. Willie doesn't understand. What do you think they did back in the 1600s? They died. Nobody is working in Louisiana when the air's off. Jace, the world doesn't stop just because it's hot. I don't care what they say. If the air goes out, they ain't working. We are going to cool off until you get the air conditioner fixed. We'll get some air going. But look, we've gone to drastic conditions out there because you oh lost your gosh. Air. I'm telling you, look at what we've been reduced to. Get you some of that. Oh, shit. Here we go. I know this is going to be terrible. I'm just trying to prepare myself for the worst. Size si beating the heat. Hey. Wasn't ready for that. Si, you better have pants on under there. Have you peed in there? No, I ain't peed in. All right. You got to be freaking kidding me. It's a bunch of grown men playing in a kiddie pool. Hey, you will want to get in here. Oh, my gosh. Just who thought it was a good idea to put Cy in it? The man bays like once a month. This baby's starting to get right. You're going to create a Cy cesspool? Everybody, get your butt back in there and get back to work. Fix the air conditioner. This is what happens when you turn the duck call room into a sweatshop. I'm not paying y'all to build that. CEO needs to take five minutes. Come on, get in the pool. No, nah, I ain't getting in there. Come you on! You crazy? Your body's in there. I'm not getting in Come there. Here, man. I'm getting in no body of water that your genitals are in. <laughs> 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 That's actually a valid point. Get back to work. Make reads. I ain't going nowhere, Jack. Ah, uh, he's finally here to fix the air conditioner. Oh, thank goodness. We're burning up in here. But luckily, I have a guy who can fix air conditioners and give us a quick fix. Thank you, Ralph. Mount Man, hey, how well, you doing? Fine, Willie, how you been? A little hot in here. <laughs> Maybe quick's a bad word. You look a little wet there, Willie. Yeah, man. it's called sweat, Mount Man. I'm burning up. Uh oh. You just need to fix the problem and get after it. Hey, Corey, how you doing? Good. Corey, how's the kids been doing lately? They're, they're all Mount Man, they're I ain't got no time for slow talk. Do you know what you're doing? Well. Mount Man, that doesn't make me feel secure. Yeah, yeah, I can handle this. No problem at all. All right, let's go. Uh, all righty, you ready? Man. Yes, sir. All right, uh... See you. All right, where do we need to go? We need to go out here where the unit is. I think you got it suspended up in the air up there, so... I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. All righty. It's actually not bad. No. I'm sweating, but not as much. Pretty cool in here. Hey. Y'all making too much racket. Si, you're going to get fired. Hey, ask me if I care. I'm like an owl. I don't give a hoot. Willie wants the work to get done. It's too hot. The only place I can think of that has some AC is my vehicle. I like that. By the way, I'm going to turn in an expense form for my gas. I think you're in the first stages of a heat stroke. No, I ain't heat stroke. Hey, what's he what? saying over there? Hey, he said you're, you were the idiot. I'm an idiot? Yeah, you and Martin both. I am Martin. <laughs> well, hey, I'm just relaying the message. <laughs> what'd you say? Well, why'd he call us an idiot? Ask him that. Hey, what'd you call him an idiot for? I didn't call him an idiot. I can't hear nothing they saying over there. No, I was saying I don't like being cooped up like this. I think his heat's getting to every one of us. What? I'm going to go get me a snow cone. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you look like a Chippendale dropout. Well, rednecks, we don't walk anywhere. You know how people in New York, you know, they're all, they're walking everywhere. You know, we don't do that. I want sweet tea, snow cone. You want to do a little action too, huh? 
with one exception, snow cone stands. Martin needs a tutti frutti. Uh -huh. What size? I want the one on the far left. Yeah. The bucket? Yeah, the bucket. <laughs> the bucket, that's what I want. The very definition of redneck means that you're getting burned. Uh, Thus, you have the snow cone stand. It's like a winter tavern for rednecks. Now, this is what we needed. I need a bigger straw. You need a one-inch PVC pipe. Boy, this thing is giving me a brain sneeze. A what? A brain sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you a brain sneeze. That's where, hey, your brain needs to sneeze, but, hey, it can't sneeze because it's the brain. So it just hurts. I think it's called a brain freeze, not a brain sneeze. No, whatever it is, hey, I don't want no part of it. That's the best idea we've had in weeks. Yeah. Hey. Hey, buddy. How are you doing with all this heat? Hey, we're chowing down on some snow cones. I mean, this is just a temporary solution. I'm thinking about taking the girls to the water park to cool off. I don't do water parks. My kids don't do water parks. Why not? Way too much bacteria and germs and human feces in the water park. Look, get the kids, take them to Harrison's Pond, and I'll come down there in a minute. We live in Louisiana. This whole state is a water park for free. All right, love you too. Hey, how about a redneck water park? Hey, I, I like that. This is the lifeblood of a redneck. There's water everywhere. Go jump in it. Yeah, come on. Another brain freeze. He again. He's having a brain sneeze too. Man, that hurt. Yes, it is, mountain man. The air conditioner's broke. What was your first clue? Well, it just wasn't running. Is it too much to ask uh, how long you think it'll take? Well, depending on what it is, if it's a little computer board or a relay out or a belt, 15, maybe 20 minutes at the most. 15 minutes? That's what I'm talking about. But then again, if it's something else like a um, compressor or a bad fan motor, we're looking at around three hours. I don't even know why I bother asking. A mountain man 15 minutes is like five hours to a normal person. If it takes three hours, you're costing me money. Mm-hmm. What does mm-hmm mean? Three hours, 15 minutes, or just mm-hmm? Mm. You ever been on a phone call where there's like a 10 second delay? That's what it's like talking to Mountain Man. Mm hmm. Mm. Hello? Mountain Man? You there? Mountain Man, aren't you supposed to know what it is? Like, you're supposed to know the problem. This could take a while. Mm hmm. I'll get her. Gentlemen, we are going to build the greatest water park that's ever been assembled. In the town of West Monroe. Yep. We're building this city's first redneck water park. It's going to be dangerous. We got equipment, things that don't need to be in the water. But that just adds to the drama. This is the lifeblood of a redneck. You make something out of nothing. This is going to end in a splash. Some bigger than others. Get it, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't take any longer. It's too hot. I'm going down to Kay and Fields. The guys are down there making our water park. Are they? Yeah. Building a water park? Why can't you understand that I pay you to build duck calls? Just like I pay Mountain Man to fix the AC. Maybe I should just stop paying people. Willie, it's too hot. You can't work in this. I'm working in it. Mountain no. Man's I'm thirsty. attempting to work in it. Cannot do it. I'm done. Get Mountain Man some water. He's Where dying they? up there. Boy, Willie, I sure could use water. He's fine. Water. Really? He's just sitting up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get him something to drink and come no. to Harrison's Pond after. No, I'm working. Willie, you can't work in this. Nobody can. Yes, I am. It sure is hot up here, Willie. Mountain Man, I know it's hot. 
Well, I sure could work faster when I get some water in me. It'll cool me off. I ain't getting you no water. OK, I'll come down there and no, get water. No, don't come down. Water. Don't come down. I'll get you something. What do you want? Snow cone would be nice. Oh, my gosh. Or maybe a sweet tea, lemonade, grape slush, something like that. All right, let's do it. Let's get to work. Here we go. Oh, yeah! We're building a redneck water park. Welcome to the party, Bill! But since redneck water parks don't build themselves, I'm calling in the big dog. You say, yeah! We are about to push this production into overdrive. It's hammer time. That's Phil. <clears throat> That's him. He's coming. Oh, yeah. I got the perfect spot for this. This is going to be fun. Now we're working. Hey, start rolling. What, what's your problem? Believe it or not, there's our rope swing, boys. This water park is really coming together. I can't get out of it. <laughs> but when you're riding a workhorse like Cy Robertson, this is way too much work for me, boys. All things are possible. Hey, Jeff, you and Jace, hey, y'all need to put cinder blocks on top and the bottom to hold it down. So why don't you make yourself useful? I'll supervise. One of the key things about setting up a, a, a redneck water park, hey, you got to find you a nice shade tree, have your iced tea candy. Keep them boys at it over there, though. Make sure they stay with it. You and Martin ever going to finish that stupid trampoline? You boys been on it about 30 minutes? We don't want too many people leaning back on a tree with iced tea. We won't get enough to compass. Boy, you're gonna need water on that to be able to slide on it. Oh, good thinking, sir. Hey, if you don't stay on them, these boys are lazy. You gotta crack the whip on them every once in a while to keep them moving. Sir, you're not helping. I'm gonna take them out. Oh, good thinking, sir. I've never seen anybody eat this slow. Digest better when you eat slow, Willie. You ought to be going to the bathroom by now. Well, I usually do after I finish my sandwich, but... You done now? A few more chips. You don't have to eat all of them. That's it. Leave it. OK. I guess I'm ready now. I can get a little work done. Thank the Lord. Oh, yeah. Willie, you ain't got a quarter-inch nut driver somewhere, do you? Are you serious? Believe it or not, Mountain Man is the best air-conditioned man within 100 miles. You ain't got a couch. I can take a nap. No. He's also the only air-conditioning man within 100 miles. All right, Mountain Man, I'm gonna leave now. I've got a bone to pick with some people. I'm not a quitter, but with the combination of Mountain Man, my entire staff ditching work, and the threat of a heat stroke, I'm throwing in my sweat-drenched, stinky towel. When I come back, I want it to be cold, all right? I'll have it cooling, Will. Thank you. Can you give me a grape slush? No! Well, looky The here. little children. Mercy me, look at this. In our part of the woods down in here, you know, a rope on a tree hanging over water, everybody happy, 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 like that. Welcome to the party. It's hot. It's boiling hot out here. It doesn't take too much to keep redneck kids happy, which is a good thing, you know. You want to go to a water park? Yeah. What have y'all done? I'll give you a water park. It took hard work, but we've got a water slide, a water trampoline, a track hose swing, and a rope tow. We have constructed the greatest redneck water park ever. 
Welcome to our little oasis in the desert. And now that the family's arrived, there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> it worked. All right, it worked. Go! See, this is kind of like Moses leading his people through the desert. That's what you do when you're hot and parched. Go for it, Kate. Go for it. Are you having fun? You lead the people to find relief. Whoa! Yeah, it is. And a redneck's relief is fun. Are the kids having fun? The kids are having fun. Fun. It's fun. It really has turned it's out nice. fun. Yeah. Hey. That is so fun. That's exactly right. Exactly. Fun. It's fun. Well, look at who we have here. Oh, Willie, tons of fun. Come on, Willie. We're being a party poker. Little light on the fun, but heavy on the ton. Better hide your picnic baskets. This is what you miss work to do? Yeah. What do you think? Why don't you ever work like this at work? You're being a big party pooper. Nobody likes a party pooper. You're supposed to do this on weekends like normal people. I mean, I can't believe you don't like this. What'd y'all do to this truck? That's a redneck rope tote. Anybody tried it? No. Why don't you try it? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing none of this. Huh? Why well, can't you just relax and have a little fun like the rest of us? Hey, how can I have fun? Prove it. Do the rope toe. You'll be the first one. Because I have to work. Uh, come on, have some fun. <laughs> Willie, 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 has nothing to do with my pair, son. Oh, yeah, son. This isn't high school, people. I don't buck under peer pressure. There is no way, no how, under any circumstances that I'm doing this. Woo! That's my man. All right, you ready? <laughs> Hit it. Keep <laughs> <laughs> going. Welcome to the party, Will. He went under the water a party pooper, and he came out vibrant. It's basically like a redneck baptism. Come on in, boys. The water is fine. Well, we know. We've uh, been here all day. Uh, <laughs> I believe with good work ethic, there's nothing you can't accomplish, even if it is 1,000 degrees outside. But the funny thing about work ethic is that it doesn't always have to apply to work. We might not have accomplished much the office day, <clears throat> like Mountain Man, but it's hard to argue with the results of the Redneck Water Park. Father, we thank you for keeping us safe at the watering hole down here today. Thank you for this good food you blessed us with. Amen. Amen. Today, the guys did something much more productive than just making duck calls. They brought the whole family together to cool down, relax, and have some good old-fashioned redneck fun. Will the mountain man ever fix that AC? No, I just left him the keys. He'll probably be down in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>